crap. All right, so I just wanted to do an, a little update on uh, the quarries and the baby bettas. Uh, there's one of the little quarries on that airstone right there. And if you remember, they all started in uh, this fishbowl. I found quarry eggs on Amazon sword leaves. And this is the bowl that uh, Vanellope von Schweetz, my female betta, was in, uh, trying to get her used to blueberry, the male betta. Uh, so once she was out and this tank was empty, I just left it in the tank. And then for, you know, got lucky and found three Amazon sword leaves full of quarry eggs. So I put them all in here, uh, standing upright. And the rocks at this end were keeping the fishbowl from floating away. Uh, I had, it looked like about 60 eggs. So when I took all the rocks out, I figured it was time to, you know, the, 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 both the male and female beta were out of this tank. Um, I took uh, the rocks out and found, it must have been about 60 baby Cory in here. And they're all uh, uh, bronze quarry, and there might have been maybe three false Julian. You can't tell yet, because I did find three false Julie eggs in another tank, and I let them loose. And I don't know if you can see that right there. That is a little, that little white spot right there, uh, where to go, is a little, uh, a little better. They're round. They are so hard to see still. They are very slow growing. Um, and, and they're only about two weeks old, and I think the quarries are about the same. But anyway, so this is a twenty. Oh, there's a little quarry right. Where to go? In there somewhere. Just went and ducked behind the weeds. So I've got a um, bunch of mulm in here, and I'm a big fan of that because the quarries can feed in it, and so can the bettas. There's a bunch of little microscopic organisms that they can feed on. And they are so small, it actually it provides a, a perfect viable food source for them because they're microscopic. Um, and I've got, so I've got uh, Amazon frog bit, I've got duckweed, and I've got uh, hornwort, and there's probably some pieces of uh, areas in the back there. Chunk of java fern all the way in the back. Uh, and there's the pile of stones that was holding the fishbowl down. And there might even be three or four little little bitty red cherry shrimp that I found when I was cleaning a filter out in another tank. I thought I'd dump those in here at my wife's suggestion. So again, it's a 20 gallon tank and there's only about six inches of water in here. Uh, even these little bitty quarry fry, they breach. So they don't have as far to go in this, you know, that maybe five, about six inches of water. And the bettas uh, mostly swim on the surface and when they go down they don't have as far to come back up uh that makes it a little easier for them as well there's a baby cory right there um so personally um uh, in my opinion and that's you know you know what opinions are worth uh i think this is the way to go uh to have a tank full of mom full of plants uh got the sticks that are you know uh with the, the bark was on them and the bark's kind of shredding apart and it makes, you know, like a bacterial slime that breaks down and the fish feed on that also. So I think it's really created a, a good, more natural environment by doing it this way. So that's just sort of my two cents on the whole subject. And, you know, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Feel free to reach out with your comments. Uh, I'm not telling anybody ever that this is the only way to do it because we all do what works best for us. And I think that's important to remember, especially in this hobby. There's enough people out there telling you you're wrong uh, and they're right. And I will never fall into that trap. So, you know, do what works best for you. But if you want more on it, let me know and, and, and you know, reach out directly either on Instagram, direct message me or, uh, uh, and YouTube, you know, put it in the comments and, and I will get back to you because it's important for me to, to, you know, to help guide people if I can. And I know you'll sort it out, and so will I. And everybody have a great rest of your day.